So what was it that attracted you to the role of Molly? I, interestingly enough, love that she's kind of the villain. And I like, I just feel like it's so much more interesting playing someone that's a villain because there's like so many different layers of her. So why is she so mean to Tessa from the moment she meets her? Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think she just sees her as a threat and she's just like, well, like, I don't know, when, you, when someone new comes into a circle, I just think about like how Molly would feel. Like she thinks she has, if she's like kind of like the bossy type of, girl that like tries to control everything and mm -hmm. like want everything her way and then this new girl comes in she's like wait why are you like who are you and mm -hmm. why are you trying to like she probably I feel like Molly sees that like the chemistry between Hero and Tessa and mm -hmm. she just does not like it so she just wants to eliminate any threat that's coming into her life. Yeah, I think so. she definitely picks up on that. It's yeah. straight away at the party. Yeah, at the party. <laughs> she's like uh, wait a minute no he's mine what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I just love the fact that Tristan is very like open with herself. She's very endearing with stuff. She really loves her and her friends and her circle and um, you know she likes to go out and have fun but then she's yeah. also you know smart and makes the right decisions so I just I thought she was a cool character. Tristan was originally a male character but they changed it to female in the movie. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I guess they just maybe wanted to represent the LGBTQ community which I think mm -hmm. is amazing and um, you know they support me so much in my music so I'm happy so happy to be able to do you know this role for them and portray this, you know, relationship with mm -hmm. Steph and Tristan. And at the end of the day, love is love. It's it's not really any different to me. I think relationships are based off of great friendships and that's what Steph and Tristan have. What I really liked about this role was the fact that she uh, was bisexual mm -hmm. and that she was like spunky and she became Tessa's spirit guide and kind mm -hmm. of helped her through the ropes of college. And I thought that was just, really cool. How does your character, uh, you know, influence Tessa by being her college roommate, influence Tessa and expose Tessa to a world that she had never seen before? Um, she does it in a way that is inviting, kind of just like, I don't want you to trap your, to lock yourself in the room mm -hmm. and I want you to experience college because she kind of, you could see, she knew straight away, like, oh, this sweet little conservative girl. Had a bit of a sheltered life. Had a little yeah. bit of a sheltered life and just wanted her to come to and see that not only can you become successful in life, but you could also have a little fun while doing it. I really love Landon's heart. Mm -hmm. I love his heart and I love his way to, what the way that he, um, the way that he helps like guide Tessa, but it's not in a, in a judgmental way. Anna said that, I have to quote this, to me, Landon <clears throat> is the third most imp important character in the entire series. Why do you think she said that? I think she said that, well, Landon is her baby. Landon is Anna's baby for sure, but I think she said that just because of, like I was saying, Landon's heart, you know, and we all, we all need that friend that friend who who just loves with everything that he has and and or or they have and you know doesn't judge and and is is just there for us whenever we need them and i think that that's that's who landon is that's you know that's in his nature and that's something that he learned i would say from his mother mm -hmm. um but yeah i think that he's the character who is wiser beyond his years and is just that that rock. Was it helpful to have Anna on set? Very inspiring, very helpful. She's such an amazing person. She provided so much information, all the while not too much. It was honestly such a great thing to have her there. Mm -hmm. Anna's great. She gives us little tips on our characters and mm -hmm. a little more insight maybe than you know, if you're new to After and you're just reading the script, like there's so many books, so there's so much deeper information that we can get. So having Anna there is so great. And, um, you know, just making sure that we're portraying the characters the right way because the fan base is so in love with these books. Like mm -hmm. we want to do a good job and, you know, give them the best performance. Oh my gosh, she was awesome. Like I think she really helped us understand the characters because like she wrote these and I wanted it to be as close to her imagination how she wrote them as possible mm -hmm. like especially with the fan base if I 
I feel like if I played Molly wrong, people would be like, that's not how Molly is. Like, yeah. don't do that. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I want to be very close to the book and like, how uh, any information you have on Molly, like, let me know and I'll I'll try and keep it. Extremely helpful. So, so helpful. I mean, this is her world. I mean, it's she's made it our world now, but she she's the source of this. She knows this, like, the back of her hand. So to have her there um, was just such a such a blessing, you know. Um, if we had any questions or anything, she was there, and and she like she looked out for us. She you know she was just like a she was like our mom, you know our our uh, yeah. I keep saying long live long live the queen. She's she is the queen. She's she's incredible. What was your favorite scene to film? I really liked the um, the reception. Mm -hmm. The reception was great. We all got dressed up. We all. Um, um, yeah, it was really nice. It was a long, long night, but it was, it was great. Everybody looked great, and and um, the art department did a great job. They just dressed it up really, really nice. My favorite scene was the getting ready scene, with um, Tessa, where we were in the, the dorm, and I'm like, you know, dancing in the mirror, and she like shows me her dress, and I just thought that was so cute. You know, it's such, such a cute moment where you know you're like getting ready for your first party and. I can only imagine how it like Bill being, you know, getting ready for your yeah. first party. And it was, it was nice fun. how she says to her, "I want you to feel comfortable." There was exactly. something along the lines yes, of that. Yes, like with be her dress. You yeah. exactly. So she was telling her like, "Don't worry, who cares?" Like before the scene, she was like, "Ah, oh, what if it's what if I don't, you know, what yeah. if it's not like what if it's not for me? It's not really me." And I'm just yeah. like, "Be you." I feel like the party scene has mm -hmm. been my favorite just because it was like naturally so fun and we were shot that until like 4 a.m. or like it was like a late 5 a.m. or something like that but I just had so much fun doing it because we we're all just like living in the moment and it was just so naturally fun it was a fun scene and in the movie Harden has a secret place the lake that he mm -hmm. shares with Tessa mm -hmm. so do you have a secret place if I'm in a relationship I do love to go to the beach at night and like listen to music and mm -hmm. watch the stars and like bring blankets and do stuff like that but I don't have like one specific place that I go to mm -hmm. but I am from Guam so I think that's why I like to go to the beach. It's more within myself honestly whenever I am busy traveling with between doing photo shoots and doing auditions and balancing the whole thing I like to just go and sit and find a little quiet spot and sometimes I write, sometimes I'll just sit in silence, but it's kind of in myself. I just sit there and I try to center myself and remind, think, think about my childhood and happy thoughts and places that I loved and then reflect on where I'm at now and reflect on like all the things that led up to it. So my happy place is kind of inside you know it's, just, it's, it's almost a form of meditation I, like I just that. look you can in. take it with you wherever you are exactly yeah exactly it's I, I say my home is where my heart is and my heart's right here and I'm just so grateful for all the things I've experienced in life so I just like to reflect on all the positive moments I feel like it's just my house <laughs> like it's just my my living room and my love sack I have like this love sack pillow thing have you seen oh, them it's no. like a big bean bag okay and I just sit in it and um, play my like I listen to these solfeggio frequencies mm. have you heard of them yes they're yeah. just so so that's my secret place I'll just like sit in my sack put on my frequencies and put like little candles and just relax I do have a secret place mm -hmm. yeah I have a secret place I'd tell you where it was but it wouldn't be a <laughs> <laughs> okay. no I've, I've got a couple um, I've got a view here in LA that I like to go to with my my best friend Aaron and We'll just reflect about life and like talk about everything, talk about our dreams and you know, check in and where we are and then I have another another place that I, I drive up the coast. I love the beach. Mm -hmm. I love, love, love the beach. So I've got another place there where I just kinda look out and yeah, you, re, you it it helps to put it into perspective that it's just it's all so much bigger than you. Yeah. You know? What's happening with your music? So I chose Bitter Love as my single, mm -hmm. and at the same time after was like, hey, if you have any music, send it over, and we'll see if it fits. Um, so I sent over Bitter Love, and I knew it was going to be the theme song of After, because it's just Harden and Tessa's love story. What do you think love means? I think love just means that you're going to be with that person no matter what, like no matter what obstacles, just because you feel this connection. I don't think you can put like a label on love. like. Mm -hmm. It's something you either feel or you don't, mm -hmm. and it's just like, 
you know when you're meant to be with somebody and I so believe in true love and I think you just have to kind of go through life and do your best to find it and when you do just don't let it go and um yeah loving someone you just support them you accept them you put them on a pedestal and love them god I don't know love is my whole life I don't know how to label it yeah yeah words can't express it yeah, yeah I can't I can't I think love is definitely someone that is like a best friend and someone that you can share I I think that being a best friend with some like being best friends with someone and then kind of taking it into a relationship is mm -hmm. so much more important because you're just so comfortable with that person and like definitely there has to be a element of chemistry with the person too like off the bat I feel like anyone like I just feel like that's like the number one thing that happens with me like I'll just know off the top if I have chemistry with the person or not mm -hmm. but definitely getting to know each other and like bringing out the weirdness in you I think because like that's just so important and that's not you can't have that with everyone like no one really understands you or like yeah. you know especially with me I feel like I'm so weird at, and like there's little things that I do that people are like wait why do you do that but I want someone that understands me and like definitely sees like me for me. <laughs> Lover and best friend. Yes, yeah. exactly. That, that would have been a better way to put it. Oh, wow. That was good. Yeah. That's good. Um, what I think love is, mm -hmm. oh man, I think love is understanding, mm -hmm. uh, communication, compromise, um, being somebody's best, best, best friend. Um, knowing the ins and outs of a of a person, like their fabric, their make, uh, it's yeah, it's it's that's a really really good question. I'm still trying to figure it out, and I think maybe that's the point of it all is that you, it's ever evolving and ever changing, mm -hmm. and you're just trying to figure it out while you're in it. But um, just yeah, just having somebody's back. Wise words. Thank you so much for talking Thank to Hey you. you Guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey.